Hey, how to use advanced wavetables. Let's get into it. We recently launched a free analog inspired wavetable pack called Legacy. It comes with what we call advanced wavetables, so we thought we'd make this video and quickly go over how to use them. If you randomly stumbled across this video, we make Serum presets. Since we're always trying to be a step ahead in creating the best presets out there, we rented and collected a bunch of analog synths throughout the last year to sample their wavetables. Instead of keeping them for us and our presets only, we've decided to put them in a pack, call it Legacy, and give it out for free, since we always wanted to do something for the sound design community. So, if you haven't already, check the link in the description to download Legacy for free. Now, let's get into it. Before we get into the advanced wavetables, Legacy also comes with a ton of regular wavetables. As you can see, we tried covering a ton of synths, from small quirky synths like Micro Freak to legendary stuff like Jupiter 8. Let's load up Mini Brute, for example. You can see what wave shapes are available if we click on the waveform visuals inside the oscillator. In this case, we get a saw by default. Using the wavetable position knob, labelled WTPOS, we can scroll through and select a different wave shape. In this case, we also get a triangle wave, a sine and a square. Let's open up another example. Let's go with the SQ80. If I'm not mistaken, this is an analogue hybrid synth. That's why we get a lot more wave shapes here, especially those harmonic ones are super cool. Let's check out one more, like the Voyager right here. As you can hear, these wave shapes sound fantastic. Of course, there's nothing wrong with the regular wavetables in Serum, but having access to these warm and rich analog inspired tables is awesome. Now, let's move on to the advanced wavetables. The first thing you'll notice is that there are single wave shapes only. I still have the Voyager wavetable open here, and as you can see, it contains multiple shapes. Saw, square, triangle, and so on. Due to how these advanced tables work, they are single wave shapes only. Let's open up the Andromeda A6 saw, for example. Now, without going into detail and fully nerding out on how analog synths work, it's essentially impossible to capture their true character using just a single wave shape. The wave shape on most analog synths changes and varies a little depending on which note or key you press. It's what gives them that signature warm low end and those buzzy highs. So here's what we did to capture some of these analog wave shapes more accurately. If I go through the wavetable position on this Andromeda saw here, you can see and hear the wave shape change. We essentially just captured the wave shape across multiple octaves. In this case, 8 octaves going from the lowest to the highest. We then crossfade between those 8 tables to smoothly scroll between them. Think of this as a multi sampler but on a wavetable level, just like how most pianos are sampled into digital instruments by recording every single key. So now the question is, how do we ensure that Serum plays the low octave wave shapes when playing low notes and high octave shapes when playing high notes? Serum has this thing right here, it's called a note mapping feature. Watch the green dot as I swoosh through my MIDI keyboard. It essentially just tracks the notes you play, so lower notes output a lower value and higher notes a higher value. Let's put this on the oscillator pan for example. If we now play lower notes, you'll notice that there'll be pans to the left and higher notes pans to the right. We can again swoosh through some notes and go real low and high to demonstrate this. Now, going back to the wavetables, I assume you know where we're going with this. Instead of putting this on the pan, you'll want to use this on the wavetable position knob. This way, the lower octave wave shapes are used whenever we play low notes and vice versa on the higher notes. You can see this if I start playing something. If you compare these to the regular wave shapes side by side, you'll notice how much fuller and warmer these advanced wave tables sound. Let's check out the SQ80 again. The advanced saw table demonstrates quite nicely why these advanced wavetables are more accurate. 
Now, this is one of the synths we rented for this collection, so I don't have the actual hardware synth next to me to demonstrate this. But the Arturia emulation is awesome, accurate, and will do the job more than fine for this demonstration. Let's focus on the frequency analyzer at the top here. Since the SQ80 is a sample-based hybrid synth, some notes are missing high frequencies while others aren't, which you can see and also hear quite well. With that in mind, let's open up the regular SQ80 wavetable. As you can see in here, this one is always super full since we captured the fullest wave shape we could get out of our unit. Now, if we switch over to the advanced wavetable of the SQ80 saw, you can clearly hear and see that this one mimics the loss of high frequencies on certain notes. It's not as accurate as full-on emulation like the Arturia plugin, but it's pretty close. Again, this is not 100% accurate, but certainly much, much better than a single wavetable. And this wavetable specifically perfectly demonstrates why these advanced wavetables are so awesome. On most wavetables, the difference will be much more subtle, but still noticeable. So let's dig through some more, like the base station pulse right here. The Prophet 5 is also one that changes shapes quite a bit. Another great example would be the MS-20 triangle right here. As you can hear, very awesome, full, rich and warm wavetables. Every sound designer's dream. But yeah, that's pretty much it. That's how you use the advanced wavetables in Legacy with the help of Serum's note mapping feature. One more thing to note is that Serum lets you pitch an oscillator up and down four octaves. The note mapping feature doesn't take this into account, but that's easily fixed by adjusting some wavetable position values. A complete guide with all that is included in the download, so we won't be going further into that. Now, if you're curious as to what you can make with such analog-inspired wavetables, we actually crafted an entire Serum preset pack for Legacy. Let's go through some of those sounds. A ton of awesome analog inspired bases right here. Also, all presets have all four macros assigned, letting you control certain parameters or completely switch up a preset. We even have some drum presets right here, trying to mimic some classic analog 808 and 909 drums. We also tried recreating some classic, legendary presets that you'll find on some analog synths, like the Juno Celesta right here.
and of course, some good old EDM festival leads are also part of this library. Wavy, dreamy analog leads too. Of course, smooth, noisy analog pads aren't missing either. We also got some more experimental stuff like this granular glitch pad here. We also couldn't resist sampling some piano related stuff like this M1 piano. even a classic electric piano. Since this video isn't about the presets, I'll very quickly go through some more plucks and synths right here. But if you're interested in hearing more, we have a 20 minute walkthrough of this library where you can watch us go through 50 out of the 120 presets. I'll link that in the description below. And if you haven't already, check out Legacy and get the free wavetables through the link in the description. Bye for now.